justice facing federal charges. As CBS 2's Rachel Kim shows us, prosecutors say he was caught on video. Federal investigators say this is video used as evidence in their case against Mark Stephen Simon. He's a Huntington Beach man who was arrested today and now faces federal charges of participating in the U.S. Capitol attack on January 6th. Simon is charged with entering restricted buildings or grounds, unlawful activities on Capitol grounds, and disorderly conduct. According to an FBI affidavit, one of their agents was tipped to Simon through a blog post at orangejuiceblog.com. The FBI says it included video showing Simon using his cell phone to record a group of rioters pushing their way into the Capitol as police try to keep the mob out. The affidavit states that once Simon was in the doorway threshold of the U.S. Capitol building with a broken glass window behind him. He turned the camera on himself and said, in the Capitol, baby, yeah. In the Capitol, baby. A short time later, he said 2021 Donald Trump. 2021 Donald Trump. The affidavit says the video was originally posted on the Facebook page of someone who was with Simon at the Capitol, but authorities said the post had been deleted and later surfaced on orangejuiceblog.com. During the investigation, a local FBI agent sent the post to a detective from the Huntington Beach Police Department to see if Simon lived in the city. Police later confirmed that he was a known activist in Huntington Beach and identified the man in the pictures as Simon. Investigators say they also found pictures on Simon's social media accounts showing him in Washington, D.C. on or around January 6th. Simon appeared in federal court virtually in Santa Ana this afternoon, where at one point during the hearing, he appeared to blurt out that he did not enter the Capitol. The judge ended up setting bail at $25,000 with conditions to his release, like surrendering his passport. He is scheduled to appear for a preliminary hearing virtually next week with prosecutors in Washington, D.C., the charging district. Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.